It's Mac haul time! Yay! And I got a massive bag. I don't think I've ever gotten this size Mac bag before. It's like... There's, there's a comparison. It's massive. And it was filled with lots of stuff. Not anymore. It's on my counter, but I'm going to show you guys what I got. Hi guys! Today's USA haul is one that I'm really, really excited about. I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited about it too. And you know what I'm going to be talking about because I've titled the video. It is a Mac haul. I picked up a fair few things from Mac. I don't think I went too crazy, but I definitely picked up a lot. Mac is at least about... 50% cheaper than the prices here in Australia. Sometimes it's even more than 50% off. So everything that I got, I consider an absolute bargain. So let's start. The first thing that I picked up were a few palettes. So you buy the palettes like this. I picked up three of the new style and then I picked up three inserts. I got two of the 15 pan eyeshadow inserts and then I got one of the six pan blush inserts, which you guys can see here. I might just take off this plastic, it is brand new, untested. I did actually buy uh, six blushes that were to go inside this pan, so I'm going to show you guys. Why don't we do that first? So, the six back blushes that I picked up, these blushes were, I believe, $17 each, and I mean, the pans themselves, these were $8, and then the inserts were $2, which is just incredibly cheap in comparison to when we were to buy the pro palettes and the inserts in Australia. So I was very happy like that and I tend to use like palettes more than I do individual things so I was happy to buy the blushes and eyeshadows that I picked up in the pro pants. So the first one that I picked up is this one here which is Dolly Mix. Like I said I took all the plastic and the packaging off when I was bringing them home just so it was less to bring home. The next blush that I have here is Dame, which is a really nice sort of light purpley pink shade. I also picked up Peaches. Is this Peaches? Yes, I did. Peaches. Really nice peach toned colour. Uh, I picked up Margin, which I think was a recommendation of Jacqueline Hill from memory. I think I remember her talking about this one really recently, so I decided to give that one a go. I also purchased Plum Foolery. This is very Rachel colour. I do like very plum toned shades. So I decided to grab that one. And then last but not least, I picked up Desert Rose. So I have a variety of shades there. That's what they look like all in the palette. And I can't wait to use them. I'd never tried any of these blushes before. I don't have a ton of MAC blushes either. So I was very excited to get my hands on these ones. I also have here just a separate um, palette and a uh, pan set, insert set, which I'm going to use for some of the eyeshadows that I already own. And then I have another palette here. Again, I'm going to take the plastic off for you guys that I filled up with a few different eyeshadows. Now, I think the eyeshadows were about $10 each, which again is completely different to the, I think we pay $36 here in Australia for the ones that are in the actual pot. So the first shade that I picked up was Satin Taupe. I think I actually have this one in a pot, but I'm almost out, so I decided to pick that one up in pan form. I also picked up Quarry. It's a really nice matte, sort of mid-toned brown. It is, it's slightly purple, kind of like a taupey, purpley brown shade. I have here Naked Lunch, which is like a cult favourite. I also have Brulee. All That Glitters, which is again a really, really gorgeous shade, one that I was really happy to pick up. Uh, Concrete, a nice kind of grey-brown shade, another matte. This one is Wedge. Then Sable, another favourite of mine. I love these kind of purpley brown shades. I just think that they look really nice with my eye colour, so I tend to gravitate towards those a lot. Mulch. I'm just chucking these in anyway. I'm going to have to sort all the, them out. I'm going to mix them together with the eyeshadows that I already own. Embark. Nice matte dark brown. Sketch. Really, really nice colour. I can't wait to wear that this coming autumn and winter. And then another one that looks completely out of place with all these like, kind of neutral colours is Stars and Rockets. This one, I've just it's been on my wish list for a very long time. So I was really excited to pick that one up. So they are all the eyeshadows that I picked up. Again, I was really, really excited and at $10 each, 
it's just, it was a bargain that I couldn't pass up. I probably could have purchased more, but I was trying to semi-control myself. I probably should have written a list. I didn't have one, and I would recommend that if you are going to be going to America and going to be going to Mac and want specific things, write a list out. It will just make it so much easier because when you get in there, you're almost really overwhelmed, and it's like... I know I want all these different eyeshadows, but which ones? In the end, the guy that was helping me just opened up the drawer and I just went, that one, 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 based on sort of names and just things that I had in the back of my head. But if you have a list, you're probably going to shop a little bit be better. So I would recommend that. So they are the palettes and eyeshadows and blushes that I picked up. I also grabbed the Face and Body Foundation. This is another one that I had on my wish list and I wanted to pick up in at IMATS last year and I didn't. It is, I got the shade N2, that was the one that the girl that helped me second ended up matching me to, but I'm really excited to play around with that. Haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I will get to use it very, very soon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. I have so much new makeup to try. It's actually a tad overwhelming, I'm not going to lie. I picked up three lip pencils. I have Dervish, Boldly Bare, and Vino. These are the pencils here. So Vino is a really nice dark berry shade. I thought it would be nice with a lot of the dark lipsticks that I just picked up and I also own um, Max Rebel and I think that this one will go really nicely with that. Then I have Dervish which is a really nice kind of, this is like a mid-toned pink colour. I think it would look good with a lot of different lipsticks. And then the last one that I have here, Boldly Bear, this was one that the girl recommended to me. Just a really nice neutral colour. It is quite similar to Dervish, but this one's a little bit more, it's a little bit more peachy brown toned and Dervish seems to be a little bit more pink, if that makes sense. I also picked up the Mineralize Volcanic Ash Exfoliator, but I showed that in my, or I have, I don't know which one will go up first, but I'm showing that and talking about that in my skincare haul, but I thought I would chuck it in since it is from MAC. I have sitting here a fluid liner, this is in Phlox Garden, this is from a recent collection. And I thought it was really pretty because it's like a really nice bright purple shade. If I ever experiment with colour, which is rare, but I do like to do it every now and then, purple is my go-to shade because it's kind of safe but still fun. I also picked up another blush. This is from a collection that was uh, in combination with a designer, Proenza Schooler. I hadn't heard anything about this collection, but I was just immediately drawn to the packaging. Look at that. It's like a rainbow ombre and then the packaging is like that as well. There were some other products in the collection but I think most of them had sold out however this blush was still available. This is the shade Sunset Beach. This is kind of like it's like an ombre blush so it goes from light pink down to a dark pink and I just thought it was so pretty. I just I had to get something from this line just purely from the packaging alone. I don't know if this is one that's due to come out in Australia whether it will or not. Did I, did I miss it completely? I don't follow MAC collections religiously so I don't know but it was just really really pretty. I thought that was a lovely blush to pick up and I mean I'm a sucker for packaging I've got to say. I picked up a small strobe cream. This was 30 mils, and I was just about to check out and I saw it there and thought this would be a nice one to try. I think this was only $10 and I've never tried this, this strobe cream or the strobe uh, liquid before so I wanted to give that one a shot. One thing that I did have on my list when I went over there was to pick up the Prep and Prime highlighter pen. This was I think about $25 and I got the shade Radiant Rose. It's just a pen like this, one of these twisty uppy ones and I haven't had a chance to use it properly yet so I'm gonna I'll probably be twisting for ever in a day to get the product out. Yep, still going. Oh that always happens, there you go. So it's just like a really light bright. I believe you can kind of use this under your eyes or just anywhere where you want to add a little bit of extra brightness. Okay, and then last but not least, I picked up a few different lipsticks. So I'll just grab them in random order here. The first one that I have here is Chatterbox. This is just a really nice kind of mid-tone pink color. Bright and creamy. This is an amplified, and I really like the amplified formulas. The next one that I have here is a retro matte, and it is all fired up. This is a really nice kind of berry red shade. Somebody mentioned this recently, I can't remember who, but I remember seeing it in a video and just adding it to my list because it's just 100% a colour that I really, really enjoy. 
Similar to All Filed Up, but I think it's a slightly different finish. This is an amplified, and the shade is Red Balloon. I think this is from a limited edition collection as well. It was out the front, and the girl was quite shocked that they still had them. Um, so I maybe got the last one. But again, it was kind of a similar... It's a reddy, kind of pinky colour. I will swatch it next to it. I mean, when I swatch it there, it's, it's kind of hard to tell. There is This one's definitely more pink. Red Balloon is more pink, and it is a lot more creamier and slightly less... Um, well, it's, no, it's still just as pigmented, but similar shade, but these are definitely my kind of colours, so I was happy to grab that one as well. Somebody may be able to tell me which collection this one was from. Then I got two kind of browner shades. This is a cream sheen, and it's called Cream in Your Coffee. I hadn't heard about this, but this one was in a selection of ones that were uh, top sellers kind of thing. I don't know if it was just in their store or in All Max, but... That's it there. I don't have anything like that, so I thought that would be a nice colour to give a go. And then the last lipstick that I picked up is Twig, which is, I guess, in a similar vein, but this one is a... This is a satin finish, and this one's a lot more sort of... It's got more pink to it. So guys, that is everything that I picked up from MAC. I have a really pretty swatched hand at the moment. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. As always, if you have any new product recommendations from MAC, I'd love to hear them because I'm always looking to add to my list. I'm starting a proper list now, so if I ever get back, not if I ever, I'm definitely going to back, going back to America at some point. Hopefully soon, who knows, I'm going to have to save for another trip. I have a little bit of a travel bug, but... Um, I would love to hear what products that you've been loving from there so I can maybe add them to my wish list. If you want to hear more about any of the products that I mentioned, definitely let me know in the comments ones that you'd like to see me use in tutorials or get ready with me videos so you can see them going on and see them a little bit more up close and how they work. I'd love to hear from you guys and as always, please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the description box for links to all my other USA hauls. There is a lot of them, I know, but we'll get through them soon. And other than that, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!